Greetings, everybody. This is Brother Stu. Back to Baba Videos. I want to acknowledge the Lord in all our ways. He may direct our path, and in all things, He alone get the glory. By the grace of God, we want to do this lesson on deception. This will be, Lord's willing, in parts. This is a very heavy journey, but by the grace of God, I have joy in, in doing this. Thanks be to God. So I want you to pray for us and be patient with us and as we go on this journey. This first part will be called Deception the Beginning. We want to acknowledge the Lord in all our ways that he may direct our path and in all things he alone get the glory. I want to start out by saying this, praise be to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that the devil cannot change anything. Hallelujah to God, he cannot change anything. So we're going to begin at, like I said, deception, the beginning. And we're going to begin at Isaiah chapter 14 and beginning at verse 12. You may say, well, Brother Stu, you're talking about deception in the beginning. Why are you not going into Genesis? Glory to God in the highs. We're going to show you this is why this is going to be in parts. Isaiah chapter 14, beginning at verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Now let us turn to Ezekiel chapter 28. And we're going to begin at verse 12. Again, Ezekiel chapter 28, beginning at verse 12. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Let me pause there. It's saying the king of Tyrus. If you watched our video on Daniel about spiritual wickedness in high places, how they how the, these devils are influencing the nations and the leaders. We talk about the prince of Persia and after he had the angel had to fight, the prince of Grecia shall come. So we so if you follow that, we you have, you have a you have a clear understanding when they make references to some of these kings and how they speak about them. You have, you have to understand that it's not talking about flesh. And here's where we go here. I'll read verse 12 again in Ezekiel 28. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee the day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. So that right there shall let you know. Yeah, it said king of Tyrus, glory to God, but this ain't talking about a man. The, thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Let you know God is the boss. So thou was upon the holy mountain of God, and thou walked, it, walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways. From the day that thou wast created. See, God always existed. 
Nobody created God. God always existed. God does the creating. Lucifer had a beginning. God has no beginning. And he has no ending. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God and I will destroy thee, letting you know what his future already going to be. And he cannot change this. O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire, thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Now, we get, we're talking about the beginning of deception. It's God in his infinite wisdom the angels had choices and because and he chose to feel that he was more than what he was he thought he was he wanted to be more than his creator and that filled him up with iniquity and pride that's the beginning of deception and there's a verse in the scripture said deceiving and being deceived he 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 is the, the deceiver and he deceived himself into thinking that he could be more than his creator, which is the most high God. This all took place before he stepped foot on this planet, on earth. The beginning of deception. And then we're going to verify that with the scripture because the scripture ought to line upon line. And we look at Revelation chapter 12. Glory to God in the highest. And there appeared a great woman in heaven, Revelation chapter 12, pardon me, in verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads, and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God that she should feed her there, that he that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Verse one through six. See, revelations, you 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 have to have, God has to help you to understand revelations. And I'm not sitting here saying that I know everything about revelations. But if you look at the revelation here in verse in chapter 12, one through six is talking about a specific thing. But then in verse seven, it's talking about something else prior. Verse seven, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. So this is giving you a, a backstory about what happened here in verse three. And verse four, it said, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. Stars and, and stars mean different things in the scripture. But here stars represent the angels and he did cast them down to the earth. And you say the tail is a place where glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Lord. In the word of God, it says the ancient. He is the head. And the false prophet that telleth lies, he is the tail. And what did it say here? His tail drew. The false prophet that speaketh lies, he is the tail. So his tail, the, the tail is talking about falsehood, speaking lies and deception. It says the ancient, 
the ancient, he is the head. God is the boss. But he said the false prophet that telleth lies, he is the tail. And his tail drew. His, 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 his persuasion, his deception persuaded of the angels. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Let me stop there. Let's look at, remember what it said in, in Isaiah. O Lucifer, from whence thou art fallen. You notice what it calls him here? When he got kicked out of heaven, it called him that old serpent, the devil and Satan. It didn't refer to him as Lucifer anymore. Because he lost that. He lost that. Which deceiveth the whole world. He was kept. Wait a minute. Deceiveth. Continues to do it. But how. He said, you know. You may ask. Did he deceive the whole world? Is he, or is he going to deceive the whole world? Or is this metaphor? Now. This happened. This, the beginning of the deception happened. When he thought he was more than what he was created, more than his creator. He wanted to be like his creator. And because of that, he was kicked out. So that same deception comes down here. How? Now, heaven, beginning, now, I'm going to stop the video at, 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 at Genesis chapter 3 and let this, this simmer a little bit. How did, how did the devil deceive the whole world? In Genesis chapter 3, the beginning of deception here. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. What, what did Revelation say? And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. His celestial form, God made him. The earthly form, God made him. God is awesome. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. The false prophet that speaketh lies, he is the tale. He told a tale. He told a tale. You hear that? And that just came to me just now. He told a lie. People call it, oh, he's, he's a, he told a tale, a fairy tale, a fairy lie. No matter how, how you want to pretty it up, the false prophet that speak of lies, he is the tale. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. He deceived himself into thinking he could be more than what he was. So in deceiving himself, deceiving and being deceived, he deceived Eve into making her think that she could be more than what she was made to be. Because she was already, they were already in paradise. They were already perfect. 
They already had a relationship with the Most High God. The law, the, the instructions that they had from God was already given and she understood that and she was able to articulate that to the devil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, what did Ezekiel say? Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom, wisdom by the reason of thy brightness. She's looking at it, how beautiful it was. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and also gave also unto her gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Because of this act, this is how the whole world was deceived. Because in Adam, all died. We all were born in sin. And, it, and God in his infinite wisdom, who is not surprised by any of this, know all of this from the beginning. Manifested in flesh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, sinless, spotless. Blemish, no blemish. He he had to come. Someone without sin, who did no sin, per, complete, perfect, holy, had to redeem us from the deception of the devil that has in, that, that has influenced the whole world. All in Adam, all die, but in Christ shall all be made alive, and that is what the devil can never change because he is and will always be defeated by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. When it says deceiveth, because since he know he lost, his job on earth is to make war. This is part one. Pray for us. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ.